Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. Today is July the 19th, and I am going to do you just for today in a meditation for the same day. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation, and this is our Hood Recovery Services. I hope that you're having a beautiful morning. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and get right into the meditation. Okay, fulfilling our dreams, July 19th. Dreams that we gave up long ago can now become realities. Basic text, page 71. All things begin with a dream, but how many of us fulfilled our dreams while using? Even if we managed to complete something we had started, our addiction usually robbed us of any pride in our accomplishment. Perhaps when we used, we dreamed of the day when we would be clean. That, that day has come. We can use this day to make our dreams come true. To fulfill our dreams, we must take action, but our lack of self-confidence may keep us from trying. We can begin by setting realistic goals. The success we experience when we attain our initial goals allows us to dream bigger dreams the next time around. Some of our members share that when they compare the ambitions they had when they first got clean with what they have actually achieved in recovery, they are astounded. In recovery, we often find more dreams come true than we could ever have imagined. Just for today, I will remember that all things begin with a dream. Today, I will allow myself to make my dreams come true. Wow. This is a perfect just for today in a meditation for anyone that is in recovery and has experienced the letdown of being ambitious, uh, having a vision, and then wrap back up into the disease of addiction and then having to suffer the losses um, that are so many. I mean, self-respect, um, the dignity that people bestowed upon us, our reputation suffers. Every time we pick up again, there's other losses besides the fact that we've lost ourselves into the disease of addiction. Everyone around us that has a relationship with us suffers a loss. So it's really important, I believe, that when we have an opportunity to stretch our faith a little bit, when we stretch our faith just a little bit towards attaining our dreams. Uh, I used to know a young lady, she, uh, she's probably still on paper, I'm not sure, but uh, I used to know a young lady and her goal was to be able to help other women. And when I met her, you know, she was just like any other addict coming into the program, um, not understanding the nuances and the language. And she was a little bit rough around the edges. And uh, some people, you know, rather not deal with her because of the way she uh, spoke, not necessarily what she was saying, but the way that she spoke. And I remember having a conversation with this young lady and she said, I just really want to be like a counselor. I want to help women. And I said, what's stopping me? And she said to me, I don't even have a, a diploma. I would have to get a GED. And I was like, okay. And so what's hard about getting a GED? And she said, I just, I heard that those tests for math and I just, I don't think that I would be able to pass them. I was never good at math. And I was like, okay, well, here's the thing. You don't ever have to stop trying to get your score where it needs to be. If you don't pass it the first time, you can try again. 
you you actually get another attempt at passing it before you have to pay again. At least that's how it was back then, right? And so I'm sh I'm sharing that with him. I said, you know, by the way, why why didn't you graduate with your high school diploma? And she said, I got pregnant. Okay. And I said, did you keep your your baby? She said, yeah. <laughs> My baby is uh, such and such age now. She's doing beautiful in school. And I said, oh, okay. And she says she graduates in so many years. And I was like, I wonder when, when you think about schooling and you're watching your daughter, does it make you feel that it's too late because she's about to attain what you, you still need to do? And so we talked a little bit about those emotions. Let me tell you something. <laughs> All these years later, not only is she still uh, clean, but she's working on her bachelor's now. All these years later, she's gotten her GD. She's gone to a community college and got an associate's. And she's working on a bachelor's in psychology at Western Michigan University. Right. So the point that I'm making is, is that you have to start with the dream in front of you. What is the one thing that you desire to accomplish that is in front of you? It's the one connection, like you have to actually do this in order to go forward. Maybe it's going to school and getting a certificate for something that you're interested in. Um, maybe the dream that you have is being free of that jerk that you're with <laughs> that keeps abusing you. Maybe it, it could be something very interpersonal like that, that you need to challenge your faith to move on that, to get that level of freedom or accomplishment that you need to get. And as it says in here, if the little dreams, once you attain those, they build this foundation for the bigger ones, right? I know some people, they've stayed in these awful relationships. Uh, and, and this is not just women staying with, you know, men that are abusing them. Uh, in one instance, for sure, the man was actually the, the uh, victim of domestic abuse, right? And so we have a tendency to stay in a place because we don't know what will the outcome will be. We don't know for sure what our future looks like. And hey, I've been dealing with it all this time. Why not continue to deal with it? Because you're dealing with that is draining you of all the energy that you need to be the best that you can be to attain those dreams that you have. So that's why we say lost dreams awaken and new possibilities arise. Lost dreams awaken and new possibilities arise. And when those dreams begin to awaken, I would love for you to have the hope, the faith, the belief, the confidence to move forward on it. And you'll find out that as you start moving into position of attaining those dreams. It seems like all the right helpers, all the right blocks come along and surround you and gird you up for what it is you're trying to do. Um, I have so many stories on this that I could tell, but I just wanna say um, that in order to get my bachelor's a, a couple of years ago, uh, in this particular field, in order to get this bachelor's, I needed, unbeknownst to me, a credit in art. And that's crazy. I love art, right? I love art, but I wanted to graduate with my cohort. And so I was given an option of doing something online. And there were a lot of units to this. I mean, it was a lot and I would take the extension. So I was doing more courses than everyone else in the cohort because I had this extra uh, three credit class, right? Uh, and so I would, uh, 
you know, I got to the end of the term limit for that particular course and had to file for an extension. Then I filed for another extension and they let me know that after this, you will only ever be given another two weeks. You need to try to accomplish this. And do you know, I was down to the last few days of the second, not the second extension, but the two weeks after that, right? So now I've extended twice. I'm in the last two weeks of either making it or not making it. And I had to have the credit in, in less than three weeks. So I'm in this last week and I only got like three or four days to get this done. And my husband was like, babe, what's wrong? And I was like, man, I just want to graduate with my cohort. Graduation is in three weeks. We have to have our credits in before then and approved. I've used all my extensions for this class. I, I love the information. I'm just struggling to, to stay awake and have the time to do it. I'm burning the candle at both ends. And do you know, this man who doesn't have his own diploma, who doesn't have his GED, he sat up in that bed. He said, I'm getting ready to go make us some coffee. And we are not going to stop until it's done. And I, told, I let him look at how much I had left. There were like some 26 units on top of the ones that I had already accomplished. <laughs> there were some 26 units and tests, like quizzes that I needed to take, plus the final exam. Do you know that man stayed up with me literally for over a day? over a day, over 24 hours of work we accomplished. Once we started, we didn't stop to do anything other than to feed ourselves, feed the children. We took a couple of breaks. I don't think we slept at all. We, when we started, we did not stop. And he would listen to the information. And then when I got to the quiz, and I would be like, I think it's this. And it's like, go back to uh, at the beginning when they said something, I think it's a different answer. And so we listen again, and then we would select the right answer. Do you know I pulled a full, a full 100% in that course? I've got, got the highest grade that a person could get. And I crammed 26 units. I want to say 24 to 26. So it was more than um, two, two units. It was more than two units, but there's like sections for each lesson in this unit, right? So I want to say 26 units that me and my husband joined forces in a college. And you know what's so funny? It meant everything to me. It meant everything to me to be able to turn that grade in and have them accepted. And I was approved to graduate. And do you know something? I didn't even in attend the in-person graduation. I had to mail my degree to me. Uh, I'm thinking by then COVID was starting to take off. And I was like, I'm not even, I'm not. They had all these stipulations of how they were going to do the graduation, how far we had to sit away from one another. And I was just like, it doesn't even mean anything to me like that. Right? So the point that I'm making was that I just did not want to graduate later than the other people I had started with. And God sent me help from the least suspecting source, my husband, right? And I just wanna say that help can come along the way, right? If you take the first step, you'll be amazed at who will join you and gird you up and allow you or help you to accomplish your goal. And for some people getting, getting your um, vision, starting to write it down where you can see it, is, is very powerful. I know a young lady in this, this community, she's not that young. She's maybe two years younger than me, right? 
And this person, she started with a vision board. And that vision board today employs, I want to say about seven or eight people plus herself. She has three offices within the city. And she is about to build homes because of her vision for people that need to be housed. This isn't, I'm not just talking, this is a real, real life situation. Any day now, they will be breaking ground to build these homes. She has ownership of two other recovery houses. And this all started from one night before uh, the new year came in, on the floor, in a living room building a vision board, maybe six or seven years ago. Humble lady, she doesn't want for anything though. She's able to allow, allow others to come and work on their own vision alongside of her. She's able to humbly extend a helping hand in the community and when people look at her you know what they think i need her on my team that is a person that gets the job done she's built such a reputation in this community and i just want to say just start with the vision start with the dream write it down and then take the first step and you and and blow the horn and <laughs> let people know this is what I'm trying to do. This is what I need. And you will be amazed at the people that will come alongside you and help you attain your goal. Hey, that was fun to talk about. That was fun. You know, I have so many other things in my own life that I could highlight, but I think it's important sometimes, as long as I don't break anyone's anonymity. I think it's important sometimes to also showcase other individuals and what they're doing and how they've been able to take um, the lost dreams awaken and new possibilities arise, that ideology and make it into their own. If they can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. There's no big eyes or little U's here. I hope that you found some hope in today's Just For Today in a meditation and that your wildest dreams will come to pass. And I will be talking to you tomorrow.